This is a quick guide on creating a Windows 11 virtual machine using Hyper-V. I have a written guide on the same topic over on cinder.org. There you can easily copy and paste all the commands you need to follow along. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you meet all the system requirements. I have them on screen. You can pause them and take a look. Or you can run this command in PowerShell or Command Prompt and it should give you this output if everything is good to go. Once you've done that, you need to make sure that virtualization is enabled in the BIOS. And if that's all good, then we can move on to the next step, which is to turn on Hyper-V. Do that by searching for Turn Windows Features On or Off in the search bar. From here, we want to look for and enable Hyper-V. Enable that and click OK. It's going to make you reboot. After you reboot, you want to go to the search bar and search for Hyper-V. It should be called Hyper-V Manager. From here, we're going to want to go ahead and create a virtual machine by clicking Quick Create. Once this window pops up, we have a few options. One option is the Windows 11 dev environment. And the second option will be to use a local installation source. You can use the Windows 11 ISO image directly. The downside with the dev environment is that it's just an evaluation copy, which will eventually expire. Second option is the ISO file, which will require a Windows 11 license key. You can get that from the Microsoft website. I have a link to that in the description. For this video, I'm just going to use the dev environment. Here we'll click Create Virtual Machine. It's going to go ahead and download all the files you're going to need. I already have it downloaded, so I'm going to go ahead and click Cancel. Once you're done with that, you should be back on this page, and your virtual machine should be here under the Virtual Machines list. From here, you want to go ahead and click on Settings, and it'll allow you to change all the settings for this virtual machine. I'm just going to do a few basic settings, such as setting the, the memory. And then I'm going to go ahead and change the CPU cores. After changing those settings, we'll click OK. And then we want to click Start. Once the machine is running, final step is to click Connect. And you should start booting into your Windows 11 virtual machine. Since I have the dev environment, it's going to boot me straight into the desktop. If you have the ISO, you'll probably need to go through the installation process. I get this message because it's just an evaluation copy. You can close that for now. The VM should now be ready for development or whatever else you need it for. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching.